Are all nerds as good as you? Yes. What the fuck kind of tattoo is this? Michael Jackson over there looking like a bobblehead handsome Squidward. Head look like an albino apple. Is that Macaulay Culkin on his lap? What type of shoes are those? Boy over there wearing the Dust Bunny 10s. When your eyebrows aren't on fleek so you just say fuck it and draw cats on your eyes. This the only chick in the world whose forehead be purring. Talk about a crazy cat lady. Her eyebrows look like doodle bob cats. Any emotion this chick emits is just gonna make her eyebrows look like... Well, if this isn't disturbing to say the least, can you imagine if you hired this dude to be a babysitter and then you see this tattoo? You just couldn't cut off the umbilical cord and call it a day? Dude looked like an evil Monopoly guy. Imagine this man walking backwards up to you and asking for a staring contest. Tell me he don't look like the woodsman from The Wolf Among Us. When you see someone, they claim your best friend is their best friend and you just look at him like, Bruh. When she tells you her eyes are up here, but you still look at her titties anyway. She look like she about to learn makeup tutorials from YouTube. She probably got nibbles tied on her real eyes. If you don't get your O, I see you looking with your looking ass. We got Ali, Marquis, Samosa, Samosa, Sarissa? What the fuck that say? Y'all be killing it with the family portraits. Marquis got a big old steep chin. Why Sarissa got a Chuck E. Cheese mouth with a thriller throwback hairdo? Ali over there looking at least half human. This look like Humpty Dumpty's cousins. They look like the BET version of Alvin and the Chipmunks. This don't even say cutthroat. This say cute throat. You forgot a T, bro? And he out here rocking an Adidas shirt. That need to stand for all day. I dream about spelling. I'm gonna invent something when tattoo arts misspell something that red sweet line pops up like when you text him bad. You know it's a fail when you could be on tattoo fails and Walmart fails at the same time. If you don't take your old always low prices back having ass, homeboy lifted up his shirt and all you heard was I'm going to Walmart, she going to Walmart, they going to Walmart. In loving memory of Amy Derp Winehouse, how y'all gonna make her look like Bubba Gump? She got an extra strong overbite. I bet anybody he asked if they liked the tattoo, they'd be like, I said no. For every good Marilyn Monroe tattoo, there's about a thousand bad ones. It looked like she just rolled into some poison ivy and then tried to pose for a photo shoot. She couldn't be at my birthday party trying to sing with this skin rash. I'll redirect her ass to the dermatologist. Her whole body looked contagious, even that weak ass silhouette. She looked like she don't even want to touch herself. I ain't ever seen somebody with two eyes that look at three directions at once. Al Pacino old guppy head ass? This is a really good picture of Al Pacino if he got Botox since birth. Tell me he don't look like that one Spongebob meme. Tattoo looked like a young lurch yearbook picture. This the same face guys make when a girl says why can't I find a guy like you but you in the friend zone look at Tony the Tiger's girlfriend out here again her tattoos look like black leaf tribal symbols she look a little bit too happy that she got bit by Orochimaru the cover up made this tattoo go from an ugly ass Mufasa to an ugly ass scar real quick the lion looked more like Rafiki in the face when she says she only dates black lions so you're just like uh, black y'all and I'm black y'all and I'm blacker than black this chick look like she'll just bite through the earth for a snack. Look like she only got one pair of ribs. She look like a throwback Thursday picture of Melina's grandma. She look like the nurses from Silent Hill without their uniforms on. The fuck is Bane's dad doing? He out here forcing pants to be high-waisted jeans. Boy wearing a NASCAR seatbelt as suspenders. Tell me he don't got that pose where he's about to be like, back in my day. This that same pose guys be doing when they're in their friend zone. They be like, where my hug at? Can tattoo artists please learn the fundamentals of art before tattooing? It went from a young Buddha to a man tired of waking up for his 9 to 5. Boy got a 5 o'clock shadow with them Tracy McGrady eyes. The tattoo look like when you're driving and there's a cop behind you and everyone says act normal and you just look like, bruh. Harvey out here looking ugly as hell. Head look like the attack of the killer tomatoes. His head looked like a haggy sack when it hit the floor. Harvey looked like he just survived the electric chair. Harvey's head looked like an NBA version of Deflate Gate. I've been watching a lot of internet videos on making tattoos and I am uh, the fuck and am ready to start doing it on real people. Since it's my first time, I won't charge much. If you're interested, meet me in front of Kit's Underground Wine and Spirits on Saturday at 4. If you want to get a person's name, Pick one without the letter S, since I'm not very good at those yet. Doug. Ah! I'm doing tattoos. Come get you one. $20 a piece just for today. Got my first customer right. What the fuck that say? Autumn? Oh, it says Antoine. And Dorothy? Oh, hell no. First off, this dude got you putting your arm on a recall Ikea piece of furniture. This dude paid $20 for all types of hepatitis and scribbles on his body. Talking about he got the first customer right. The first customer about to be dead. The A and Antoine look like a half-assed Eiffel Tower and the rest of the words look like your career. All the equipment at the bottom look like you about to perform some surgery. I'ma come straight into your tattoo shop with a $20 bill and stare straight at you like, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Just look at the name Dorothy. This fool know damn well he don't know how to write in cursive. To be honest, I don't even know if that says Dorothy. I'm just taking a while. I'll guess. You can tell the tattoo artist was that one kid who talked the most shit, but when it came to reading out loud in front of the class, he was like, That you, um, you had, you, 
Ew. Drums, please. What up, cool nerds? So when I first started making YouTube videos, I wasn't the most comfortable in front of the camera. But when my videos started getting a little bit more popular and more views, more subscribers, I started to lose that like camera shyness and stuff like that. Yeah. 